What's up, y'all? I know a lot of you guys are on lockdown, so I'm out here in Brooklyn at the parking meter, so you know what's up. I'm going on another store tour, so let's see what store I'm going to check out today. Let's go. Let's hook up this meter, because nothing ruins your day in the fish store like a ticket on your car when you come out. So let's throw that baby in there. And let's go. All right, now the store we're going to today is Exotic Reef Aquatic and it's on West 6th and Avenue U. So West 6th and Avenue U in Brooklyn. Let's go in. I love going in these stores that have fresh water and salt water. So let's go in. So first, we got to be safe. So you see D's wearing a mask. So if I can wear a mask, you can too. That's one of the prerequisites to going in any of the stores, Brooklyn, wherever we are in the world right now, we're dealing with the big, the big C. We want to be safe. And, uh, yo, I always wanted a corner tank. Man, where can I fit another corner tank in my house? And you think we got enough salt here? If you guys are not following us on Facebook, Brooklyn Aquarium Society on Facebook, I posted a few pictures of this tank. And a few people asked me about it. I'm going to find out how much it is, but you know we're not about that. But they do build custom tanks here. And they order some tanks in here at the Exotic Reef. And I believe this system comes everything ready to go. Sump, lines, hoses, overflow. It's probably a short tank. They got this to hide the overflow. You can do what you want with that. But uh, yeah, this is a good deal right here. A whole bunch of tins we got here, all in ones. That's not bad. Filtration, everything. Tin, Aquions, Light Hood, filtration, 65 bucks. That's not bad. You're going to spend more than that at the end of the day. I like the finish of this tank here, man. This is pretty nice. Pretty simple. Ply. But uh, pretty nice. Overflows and everything here. I'm going to ask him. I noticed the CO2 tanks here. I'm going to ask them if they uh, carry CO2 or do refills. Japanese Koi, 15 bucks. We got some metallics here. Check out the metallics. Oh, I didn't even notice this down here. My next project. I'll probably build one of these in the backyard, bro. Oh, actually, I'm touching this tank. This is an all-in-one. Oh, man, where can I fit another all-in-one? If you guys wonder where I get the ideas from, it's from all of these customizers, is how I build mines, all-in-ones, hoses and everything. Basically, put your biomedia in there, plug and play, add your skimmer. I'm going to ask him about that. Here's the next size up. I'm going to ask him if he has this acrylic, because I could use that today. That'd be cool. Good idea. Uh... Build your sump up top and you never have to worry about it overflowing now, do you? <laughs> I wonder why more people never did that. Hide their sump up on top. Once again, look. Phantoms. We got some phantoms in here. And some nice, nice ivory colored butterflies. Up, uh, New York Gold, you gotta come here. I know this is your thing right here. Pop bellies, butterflies. Oh, this is our thing. Nice and simple. Oh, I have to ask them. I'm going to build my next one probably similar to this. All in one, no sump. You got to ask them what brand protein skimmer that is right there. And it's powered by the Kessel. So first, let's just go down the freshwater aisle. It's got a lot of freshwater. First thing I like to look at these stores is how clean the tanks are. And these fish are clean. Even with all the feeders are clean. I don't see any floaters in there. Nice and bright. We got Ryukins. Really nice fish. If you're struggling to hear me, it's because I'm wearing my mask. Bear with me. Uh, butterflies. I don't know. My boy, he might have been looking for butterflies. These are probably the cheapest that I've seen. 12 bucks. And we have some Arandas. Arandas.
nice supply of rock purple rock this is the lot the rock that I like to use it's already got the uh, coralline color to it and less likely to hold algae a lot of the times the painted rock is easier to clean than a regular dry rock but uh, yeah we got a nice supply of rock down here nice big piece maybe I ask them how much one of these are for my next build coming nice flat pieces here um, oh wow I was looking for these the hybrid they are not convicts but they are like a hybrid convict oh man and we have albino parrots albino parrot fish I really like these convicts the balloon convicts a little bit less aggressive not super sized like the regular uh, parrot fish but they're like a parrot convict hybrid so a really interesting fish you cichlid people should look at keeping these these are the type of fish you want to try to breed out look at the colors and we have media here if you want to add to your calcium reactor fellas you got media here buy it by the pound there's so many fish here man there's so many things to see I might they ain't got to put a lot of time in that meter. Some algae eaters. Garamis. There's so many nice species. Ah, Burmese catfish. I haven't seen these in a long time. These get pretty big. Burmese, angels. I cannot say how clear this water is. We are really looking at some pristine water. Oh, panda quarries. Somebody asked me about quarries. I don't see them in there, but they're here somewhere. There's an albino quarry. Somebody bought all of those. Don't worry, we got eye candy coming. Start with the freshwater section, but there's a lot to see. Oh, look at these, the electric blue jack Dempsey's. These are really pretty too. Real nice selection of goldfish, I gotta tell you. Nice selection. Here's some more, more color up balloon parrot convict hybrids. Oh, uh, look at this big aranda. Oh man. More arandas. The colors are really exquisite. I like this one here. Yeah. I think I told you guys about the discus over here. We have some cobalt, some blue turquoise. Really nice. Pretty, pretty decent prices too. I used to keep the albino reds a long time ago. I used to breed the tiger oscars and the wild varieties. I had reds, so one of the first early fish that I kept. And uh, shout out to Farm Boy Reef. I was talking about painting the tank white because look how bright the colors of the fish are. White. Silver arowana, you know, got a soft spot. Used to keep those. Uh, yeah. And one of these. FYI, one of you guys just asked me about the wafers. Here's the wafers that I was telling you. Better to get the Hikari than the other ones. I like them. Maybe you won't like them, but definitely good selection of Hikari over here. Good selection of everything. Don't go. 
mean guy, huh? Be a mean man. Look at All right. You know I keep the rainbow gobies. I have several varieties of gobies. I may get another one, but I'm not set up to do that now. Some plants here. Oh, peacock gudgeon. Oh no, I thought that says gudgeon. Peacock blood. <laughs> I thought that was a gudgeon. But all I see is lonely little crayfish. Anybody wants a schooling fish, big tank, you can't go wrong with the rummy nose. One of my favorite schooling fish always decently affordable and they school very tightly very nice splash of color I'm definitely liking the white background white clouds I have dozens of these and as we pass through the cichlid section I'm not rushing it for my cichlid people here Beautifully clean tanks, very clean tanks. But you see where I'm heading. I'm taking you to the saltwater section, people. You know, this is my thing. I love my fresh water, but my brain brings me right to, oh, look, rotifers. I actually need some of those. I gotta pick those up in a minute. Rotifers. Oh, bubble tip anemone there. I'm gonna use my filter so you guys get a nice color here. Oh, nice. I actually remembered my filter this time. Because I always buy corals and I never know what color they are. So a tip, bring your filter glasses. Here's some Ganyaporas, more Ganyaporas. Hey, Bees Reef, I was showing you these grafteds. Here's where I saw them. Look at the colors of these right here. Oh, oh one of my favorite butterflies. I'm not gonna talk you to death, I'm gonna just show you what they got. Gold torch, oh man, beautiful. I think I need to get another job. Oh, nice little clam in the corner there. Dozens and dozens of saltwater fish setups here. Very clean. We're looking at each one, but they are very clean, very well kept. All of this is powered by Ecotech, so we didn't even look over here yet. Oh man, good stuff. Look at all these. Talking about Ghanis, somebody wanted Ghanis? Tons and tons of frags. Oh my God, tons and tons and tons of frags. I just bought these, which were really nice. And I may get these. These are really nice. They cut their own frags here and they will test your water. Always a beautiful thing to find a place that will actually test your water. Let me see. Affordable frag section. What? 10 bucks? Uh oh. And there's the smaller version of what I was just looking yeah. at right there. I just bought those 
for the tank upstairs, so I have those upstairs. I have these. Nice selection. Man, you could spend a lot of time in a store like this. It's so clean and well organized. Everything is so well spaced out. And pardon me guys again, because it's hard to talk behind the mask, but we gotta do what we gotta do. It's jack-o'-lantern. There we go, got some color in there. Well, this is a nice piece too. Let me see. There we go. So you can appreciate the jack o' lantern there. They have a really clean selection of frags for like every size, every price range, every budget. Oh, look at this hawk. I love hawkfish. So basically, they got a wide selection of coral. I don't know what to tell you. You guys wanted a tour. I took you on a tour, but you know fish folk, you're going to have to come and see it for yourself because it is really nice, clean and impressive store. And I'm not getting nothing free for saying this. <laughs> so if you guys think I'm getting something out of this, I'm just bringing you along. People are stuck in the house forever. This is the best way to share with all of you guys. Get you out of your chairs. Do something productive. Bring your masks. Protect yourself and enjoy this nice store tour got to show you guys the nano tanks man i would have hated myself for living if i did not show you the nano tanks shrimp white clouds one of my favorites a bunch of shrimp crystal reds dwarf shrimp Really nice store, really nice people, really well kept tanks, and that's what I like to bring to you guys. So if you guys like this kind of content, want to see more walkthroughs, store tours, click the like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want to see, because that's what we're trying to do. Keep our minds in a good place. Keep your mind and your bodies healthy in this crazy pandemic time. Very important that you keep your mind and your body in a good place. Take care of yourself. Do something nice for somebody else. Always comes back to give you something good. This is the signing out. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out.